Hey, we're gonna show you how to connect your Shopify store to your Open House Portal account. So I just logged into the portal and I'm looking at the dashboard and I'll scroll down and commerce needs to be enabled on your account for, for this to take place. So if it's not enabled, reach out to us and we can uh, walk you through how to enable commerce uh, features on your account. But on this uh, dashboard page in the portal, I'll scroll down and you see where it says commerce here, I'll click manage commerce and then I'll choose which account I want uh, to manage commerce for, which client account or sub account. So we're gonna do it for a fake client named Fox and Fire. So I'll click on this and it tells me I can manage my Shopify connection here. So we haven't connected this store to Open House yet. Um, so before I do that though, I wanna show you the options here. So right now off the shelf, Open House supports connecting your Shopify store with Open House, but if you use a different e-commerce platform like Magento or BigCommerce, WooCommerce, etc., we're working on direct connections with those platforms. But in the meantime, you can still use Open House to connect your catalog. You just would do that via a product uh, CSV file. So right here, you can actually um, add and update products uh, at scale with a CSV file uh, if you have a client or yourself don't use Shopify. So here is where you would do that. You would upload that CSV here. But we're going to show you, as I said, how to connect Shopify for this Fox and Fire uh, fake client. So what I'll do is I'll click Connect Store here. And it takes me to the Connect Store page for Fox and Fire. And it says I'll need an admin API access token to connect Open House to Shopify. Uh, soon we will have an actual official Open House app on the Shopify App Store that will make this a little simpler. But uh, if you have access to uh, the Shopify backend for the store, it's really simple. And I'll walk you through how to do that right now. So I'm gonna go in a different window. I'm gonna go to my Shopify store. So you can see up here, I'm on Shopify. I'll make the screen a little bit bigger. I'm on this Fox and Fire Shopify backend. And on the left side here, I'll click Apps. And down at the bottom of the apps list, there's this newer, it's pretty new, this new section of the Shopify um, backend called build custom apps for your unique needs. So I'll click develop apps for your store. And if this hasn't been enabled on the Shopify store, um, then you will have to enable it. And I think the store owner has to enable it. So um, all you have to do is you have to click allow custom app development. Allow. And we're in. So after you uh, get to this point, let me just go back to show you one more time. So in the Shopify back end, I'm gonna click apps and then I'll click develop apps for your store. If I have enabled custom apps on my store yet, I'll have to approve those. If I have uh, enabled that, you'll see I can create a custom app right here. So I'll click create an app. App name, we'll call it open house. And I'll click create app. And then we're gonna configure this app. So I'll click configuration, or actually we'll do configure admin API scopes right here. So after I click on configuration, um, you basically just need to choose what are you gonna give open house access to. And there's three basic things you need to give open house access to. Uh, you don't need to give us access to orders, customers, anything like that. Basically just the ability to read uh, product related data. Um, that doesn't mean change, nothing. Basically, you're just giving us access to see your product catalog. So if I scroll down here, um, there's three things you're gonna check. First is inventory. So you need to be able to read inventory. Next, let's keep scrolling. Product listings, you need to be able to read product listings. And the last one is products. We need to be able to read products. And like I said, you're not giving access to view any sensitive information other than just the ability for Open House to view uh, your product catalog and the, the SKUs and items inside. Open House won't have access to change anything in your Shopify, nothing like that. You'll just be able to, to see um, the product data needed to be able to connect your Shopify store with Open House. So I'll scroll down and I'll click save and that should be it. So my configuration was saved. Next, I need to get my API credentials. So if I click on API credentials, um, 
I'm not actually going to use this section right here. I'm going to use this access tokens section. So if you can see right here uh, on the connection page on Open House, what I need is I need my shop name. So we know what that is, Fox and Fire. I need my admin API access token, which is what we're about to get. And then I need my, my Shopify domain. So let's do the my Shopify domain first. And if you're not sure what that is, just look at your address bar when you're on Shopify right here. And it's this, it's the myshopify.com address right here. So this one is fox hyphen and hyphen fire dot myshopify.com. I'll copy that, put that here, and then we're gonna get our admin API access token right here. So I'll click install app. Are you sure you want to install? Click install. And I'm given this token once. So if you do this wrong or you uh, forget to save this right here, you're gonna have to go back and, and redo this, which is no big deal. It'll just take you a few extra minutes, but I'll click reveal token once. I'm gonna copy that and we'll paste that here and click save. Perfect. So in this Fox and Fire store, uh, we only have five products because it's a demo store uh, and you can see those five products uh, being are being synced with Open House right now. So you should be good uh, on the Shopify front. We shouldn't need anything else uh, in order to um, deal with with your Shopify store. So after you get that admin API um, access token, you can just go back, you can close your window, um, and eventually if you ever want to uninstall Open House and don't give access to it anymore, just come up here and click uninstall app, and that access token uh, that we just copied and pasted into Open House uh, will no longer be valid. So if we go back to our portal dashboard, I'll scroll down now, and if I click on commerce, manage commerce, I'll click on Fox and Fire, and you can see it's connected to foxandfire.myshopify.com, uh, and you can also see the latest sync was today at 11.04 a.m., uh, and I can actually edit my connection. So if for some reason there was an issue, I can actually reconnect. If I edit connection, uh, it will just allow me to do what I just did and paste in a new admin API access token. So uh, I'll go back and you can also, this should sync um, once a day automatically, but uh, if you are having issues with syncing, you can always manually sync your catalog. And what this will do is basically, uh, it's either adding products to open house that have not been previously added or if those products have been previously added it's updating so if I were to go and make changes on this modern green couch let's say the price changes when we sync your open house connection with Shopify um, that price change will be reflected or if the inventory level is zero or whatever the the, the um, the case is, you know, this will keep product data up to date here. Um, in practice, why this is important and why this is so helpful for actually, you know, tagging a space and using Open House. Let me go back and I'm going to click on a space here. Click on a trade show booth. I just created this space as an example to show you. Um, if I scroll down and I actually want to add a product to this space, here you can see right now I can add products to the main room in this trade show booth and I can use a connected store. So I just connected Fox and Fire. So I'll click on that. And you can see right here on the left, I can actually choose the products that I just uh, connected to the store. I'll show you how that works. So if I click choose product and I search, let's say um, chair, you can see this is actually pulling from the product catalog that I just synced. So this wood armchair and I can place the tag here and we're good to go. So I'm not going to complete this, but you can see I could click next. It would place that tag and it would tie it to that product. So, uh, and then what's really nice is that when it places the matter tag in the model, all of the product data will be placed inside of that automatically. Um, and, you know, this will just work right away. You don't have to manually input the product name, the image, the price, etc. cetera. Um, it will just work like magic. So um, let's say I wanted to add another product and I think one of the other products was a stool. So if I search stool, let's say I want to tag that here um, and I could click next and, and save that. Um, so 
That is why it's so helpful to uh, connect your Shopify or e-commerce solution with Open House because it makes tagging a space with products a breeze. Uh, it keeps that product data up to date and uh, it just makes for a magical tagging experience. Um, and we think you'll really enjoy it. So if you have any questions about how to connect your Shopify store with your Open House portal account for a client, let us know and we can help you out. Thank you.